everybody. Uh, welcome to week four of class. Uh, this week, we can begin to properly speak about the United States uh, and its ongoing history. Uh, we now have a country. We have a constitution, uh, which is, by the way, the longest running constitution in human history. Uh, it has been modified, of course, a few times, uh, 27 times to be exact. Uh, and, uh, and yet, with that, it's really significant to understand that this republic that was created under the uh, United States Constitution, it was believed by many that the Constitution would fail within a matter of 10, 15, maybe 20 years, that this uh, grand experiment that we were trying uh, would fall fat on its face. And uh, of course, at this point, uh, it has not done so. Um, that doesn't mean there hasn't been rift in tensions. Uh, in our country. Uh, of course, we can take a look at some of the political debates and, and divisions that exist in our country today uh, and recognize that faction uh, very much has has entered into this republic. And so, you know, only time will tell uh, how much longer uh, the Constitution, as we understand it, will last. But that is a perfect segue because one of the things we're going to be looking at this week is the formation of political parties uh, under Washington and John Adams's administrations. Uh, indeed, our founding fathers were very much afraid of faction and division, and uh, against their own desires, political parties uh, definitely emerged. And this is because our founding fathers were by no means on the same page as far as political philosophies were concerned or economic theories. Uh, and so from the very beginning, uh, you will note that there were political uh, distances, political divisions. You can see this between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists before the Constitution was ratified, and those divisions are going to get even more uh, so during uh, Washington's administration. Uh, you will see uh, the formation of two political parties. One is the Federalists, um, and one is the uh, Republican Party, um, also referred to as the Democratic Republican Party. Um, but they were neither Democrats or Republicans in the contemporary sense of the word. Uh, and so historians have a propensity to refer to these individuals as Jeffersonians, or Jeffersonian Republicans because Thomas Jefferson was the head of that party. But you'll note that there are very distinct differences between these groups of folks uh, and uh, much of the division that comes uh, is a result of economic tensions and the types of policies that Alexander Hamilton, who was sort of the head of the Federalist Party, some of the things he wanted to do uh, as the first uh, Secretary of the Treasury, Jefferson being the first uh, Secretary of State. So we got a lot that we're going to look at during this week uh, in Washington's administration and Jefferson's, I'm sorry, uh, John Adams's. Uh, now this week, uh, there is no voice narration on the uh, PowerPoint lecture. Um, there were some technological issues uh, that uh, need to be worked through on that one. Um, and so I will get to that as soon as I can. But unfortunately for this week, I wasn't able to get that done. Um, but just go through the PowerPoint. There are some links in there uh, that you'll want to um, click on um, and, and assess. There's one on Jay's treaty, for example, and there's also one, I believe, on the um, rift between uh, Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson. So those links uh, will be accessible for this week in that PowerPoint. So check those out. Um, and then there's a video on John Adams' administration. So that's kind of what we got going on this week. Uh, of course, you've got your discussion boards. You also want to begin to think about which various topics or subjects you'd like to do for your PowerPoint assignment. There is an announcement up for that, so please make sure that you read through that. Very, very important. Uh, and uh, I'll be making more comments about that as we get closer. But if you have questions or comments, uh, please contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, I will leave you as I always do. Go in peace, be warm and filled, may the force be with you, live long and prosper, and may the odds forever be in your favor. Have a blessed week, guys.